Joking aside, I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> I don't know why. I should have, uh, you know, get nervous like last night or... I'm very relaxed and enjoying. I don't know why, though. <laughs> uh, before I go uh, my talking, let's open the Bible. Uh, Philippians chapter 4, 12 and 13. Philippians chapter 4, verse 12 and 13. I know how to be abased, and I, I know how to be abandoned. Everywhere and in all things I have learned, both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abandoned, to be suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, who strength me. The uh, title of this message is that grace, which you can stand in any circumstance. Uh, I'm a uh, pastor of Calvary Chapel, West Tokyo, and um, actually I was saved at Calvary Chapel, San Francisco, back 80s. I used to work in San Francisco as a Japanese chef, and during uh, I lived there, worked there over 10 years, and uh, during that time, I was saved. And the Lord sent me back to, the, to Japan. And the first Calvary Chapel of Japan started uh, by a pastor named Mike Kohammer, who is in the Lord now. And it's 1988. Since then, Pastor Tim has been coming over Japan so many times. So I know him over 20 years uh, since his son, daughter, was still small. And uh, now his daughter and uh, husband, Peter Scott are working with us in the uh, same area of Japan. And I'm so excited, you know, what God is doing, you know. I really appreciate, you know, uh, let me speak and share this uh, uh, time. Let me pray. Father, thank you for this great opportunity. And I know you sent me here, even though my speech or my teaching in my second language may be poor, but uh, you are rich in your word. So you all will be down in this morning. And, uh, help me to speak that your revelation which you gave me. And uh, uh, you all will be down in this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I've been in Japan, Tokyo over 24 years. I'm in pastor 17th year. And I think it doesn't move that much quick in my uh, country. It's not easy. Of course, it's not easy anywhere, but uh, especially Japan, it's a lot of um, uh, difficulty. But still, some church grow. Some has over a couple hundred members. We only have uh, 60, 70 max. But uh, some church has uh, over even 1,000. Uh, we have a couple church in downtown has over 1,000 people. And uh, sometimes I think, you know, uh, how can they make that? And uh, they have uh, like uh, uh, 20, 30 people get baptized in a year. Uh, this year we only got uh, two people got saved and uh, baptized. And uh, sometimes I think on uh, how, you know, we can make things like that, you know. Let me share uh, one person named Mr. Toyota, who is a former president of the Toyota car company. He was an uh, inventor of the old uh, loom. It's a waving machine of the kimono clothes, automated. And he started the car section. He came over the states, and he brought uh, car, car engine of the uh, Ford engine, brought back to Japan, and uh, put part and I put it back again and studied it well. And he studied and he invade, uh, invented a new thing and now became Toyota, you know. So uh, the Japanese people are very good to copy things, you know, and make little things better and send it back to their own country, you know. <laughs> and uh, one time uh, Peter, I told Peter, I, I think our, our Christian uh, boy and kids in your nation, in your country, play 
game Nintendo or you know, PlayStation, whatever, uh, too much. But you guys made it, <laughs> right? So um, when Calvary Chapel got into uh, Japan, people was amazed, you know, what uh, God did through Chuck Smith. So we study, you know, how they worship, how they teach, how they uh, outreach, how they fellowship. Uh, we put parts, you know, and I put it together. And Calvary Chapel, West Tokyo, should grow, you know. Uh, didn't happen. <laughs> uh, any other church, same way. So we think thing doesn't go well. Uh, new, new teaching come from Korea, you know. A prayer. You know how Korean pray? They eat kimchi. <laughs> and they, um, blah, 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 you know. So I did, I did. The, where the uh, Campus Crusade team came from Korea, they march, you know, they put up the heart and, uh, you know, like a board here, and they bang and pan and pot, and bang, 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 in the town. You know. My wife said, I don't want to do that in this town. Any town where I, you know, not my town, friends are watching. We did. <laughs> so they said, dance, I dance, and sing, and sing, you know. Didn't go well, you know. <laughs> So now a new teaching comes from the same. Every old church said, this is the book, son, the pastor, son, did you read that? You know, five way, you know, like a five purpose driven. 40 days, put your Bible away and read this book and teach this book, you know. So many churches started seminar, you know, purpose driven. Oh, this is it, you know. But, mm, well, you know, book was sold, but the things didn't go well. You know, church is the same. And now we think. Maybe we have some problem with ourselves. You know. When church start to look for how you can make church bigger, you know, in a fresh way, that each member become a uh, same way, like how you can make your life better. And uh, things goes well, it's okay. But think, when things doesn't go well, we check ourselves. Maybe we need a more prayer. Maybe uh, we should have a devotion. Maybe we're not reaching out, you know. We always check ourselves. But still, bad things happen in good people. Then we feel, oh, you know, why God is not working in my life? Then we miss some sight. I think faith is more like a sight, you know, view. The way God sees us, God sees the thing. If I look, then everybody look there, right? Same thing like when I look God, the adult friend, the people look in the same way. So we need a right view, right sight in the Lord. Today, I'm going to share the grace, the key that you can stand in any situation. Uh, you are in the Philippians chapter 4. Today, I want the book of uh, Philippians a little bit from backward. Uh, let me read Philippians Chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3. Therefore, my beloved and long for brethren, my joy and the crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. I implore you all, dear, and I implore Sintak to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help those women who labor with me in the gospel with Clement also and the rest of my fellow worker whose name are in the book of life. Here comes two lady who is the leader of the women ministry uh, batting some problem. You know, they, Paul said both person are good worker, but they probably argue uh, not, not that way, we should do this way. It's happened in our church often too, though. <clears throat> Let me explain a little bit background of the Bible. Then you will love, wow, you know, this is a God message of the Bible. Um, the writer of this letter, Paul, Apostle Paul, in a prison, jail, he is about to be killed. He's writing a letter to the Philippines. Philippian. And um, maybe he is a person who should be discouraged most because his ministry, he's been doing 
a lot of hardship. Now he's in the jail. He's encouraging, you know, who is outside. The message of this, this letter is not just in this letter, but the first Corinthian, second Corinthian, Galatian, Hebrew, many letter taking same issue, actually, which we have, how we can make things better. It's a false teaching. I could call idol in a, our way. We call Judaizer. Judaizer are not Christian. They are Jew and getting into the church. And you need a more law of the Moses, keep Sabbath and uh, circumcision. You don't do that, that's why things doesn't go, go well. Same thing in this uh, age, especially in our country. Some people think, even Christian, go to church every Sunday, read the Bible, have a devotion, play, tie, serve in a ministry. Then your things go, oh, because you're not doing. That's why you have a trouble, you know. That's not the gospel. Let me go back word to the uh, second chapter of the Philippians, verse 25, 26. <coughs> Philippians chapter 2, verse 25, 26. Yet I consider it necessary to send you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and a fellow soldier, but your messenger and a one who ministered to my need. Since he was longing for you all and was distressed because you had heard that he was sick. And this church, Philippi Church, want to help uh, Paul in Rome, who is in jail. So uh, ask uh, Epaphrodite, probably he was one of the elder or older guy, to bring item and this letter to Paul. But unfortunately, he got sick. Because during that time, there is no like, a airplane or train. You know? He had to walk, and he had to ride ship. It was, you know, Paul, when he went to Rome, the sick wreck, right? So same thing. It's a lot of work, a couple months, and he was about to die, he really got sick. So there was uh, some uh, kind of argument in the church in the Philippi saying, ah, maybe we should have, uh, uh, we, we, like, a, like a me, you know, we should have sent such a uncle Epar, Epar, he's old, you know. We should have sent a young guy more, you know. Then we didn't have a problem because we want to help the pastor Paul and now Paul, instead of having problem, you know, uh, there was some argument because things didn't go well. Then Paul said, no, 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 listen. Verse 24, 27, sorry, 27. For indeed, he was sick almost and death, but God had a mercy on him, and not only on him, but also on me also. Least I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Therefore, I send him the more eagerly that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and I may be blessed. I may less sorrowful. Receive him, therefore, in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem. Because for the work of Christ, he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service toward me. He, yes, was indeed about to die. But now, God has a mercy on him, and now he was healed it, and you pray hard. We pray hard. When you hard, he was healed it, you rejoice and pray, Lord, right? We pray the Lord. Our love becomes deep, deep, and uh, really even to the Lord, we give thanks. Everything was doing well. Why are you talking? Things didn't go well. When things doesn't go, things goes well on our side, doesn't mean everything going on well on his side. The other way around, things doesn't go well on our side, but God is at work. Things are moving in order. We need that view, though, or else, uh, like uh, when 
I took over uh, Calvary Chapel, West Tokyo, from my pastor uh, 17 years ago, you know. I thought, oh, I were, I got work hard and do this, you know. But if I look back, like when Pastor Tim came to Japan, we had the A Calvary Chapel, and they not Calvary Chapel. And now we have a 12, 13 Calvary Chapels. We have a Bible College, and uh, some other two missionary family came from uh, uh, Calvary Honolulu. We work together. Now Peter and Melissa came. We work together. And uh, we have a conference. We have a Bible College there, you know. Things are going well. But in the middle, we thought, oh, God, how come we cannot make like here, like back in you know, California, you know. When church is really like trying hard, their own fresh work, like we can make church better, then each member will have the same kind of uh, idea, which is really dangerous. See, like Joseph in the Bible, he, God has a plan for him, but he was kept right, like a slave and sold to the Egypt, right? And uh, God blessed him, but uh, he was kept in a jail. And uh, he kind of re- led dream. And uh, Father learned that. But uh, the, the cook, you know, and uh, wine bear, he forgot. And it said, uh, in two years. In two years? You know? But uh, God had the timing to put him out to do next work. Just like even the exodus, even the uh, captivity from our side. Things didn't go well, but God was at work. When China had a uh, Mao Zedong revolution, you know, like uh, all the Christian was put out from China, and if Chinese Christian, of course, pray. But uh, not just you know the government should be changed, but they pray for the leader, national leader. Then interesting had happened. Chinese has over three thousand languages, you know, local different dialect, but. Uh, the Mao made a, uh, a one uh, Chinese, Beijing is a public Chinese, and they put the Chinese character together. Pronunciation is different, but we can use one Bible, or we can bring one Bible, and almost all you know, uh, people can read. The miracle has happened now, you know, past, past the team, you know, almost every year, uh, smiling Bible to China is uh, one letter people can read it. Many, you know, good things happen, but from our side, things didn't go well. God is at work. So, just like uh, cross, same too, you know, Jesus came, but Jesus was killed. Things didn't go well, but that was a problem of God. And let's back, go back to the uh, chapter one of Philippians, verse 12 and 14. <coughs> this is the background of this letter. But I want you to know, brethren, that the thing which happened to me have actually turned out for the furthering of the gospel, so that it has became, become evidence to the whole palace guard and uh, to all the rest that my chain are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my chain, are much more called bold speak, and uh, the word without fear. 15. Some indeed preach Christ even from envy and uh, strife, and some also from goodwill. The former preach Christ from selfish ambition and not sensibly, uh, support thing to add affliction to my chain, but the later out of love, knowledge, and that I'm appointed for the defense of the gospel. But then, only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and in this I rejoice. Yes, and will rejoice. Jewish, I mean Judaizer saying, oh, she doesn't go well. She, Paul, was kept in jail 
and uh, he was uh, beaten, and uh, he didn't have uh, money because he's not authorized apostle from uh, Jerusalem. That's why, you know, he should keep uh, Sabbath. He should have a uh, teacher, you know, circumcision or love the Moses or, you know. Then, see, like us, we can make things better. But Paul said, uh, chapter 3, sorry, back and forth, but uh, chapter 3 of the Philippians, 1, 2, 3. Uh, my son often tell, Dad, drink water when you turn the Bible, because you <laughs> go read too quick. <laughs> but he said, drink twice. <laughs> I get so excited and, you know. Sorry, I'm so excited. Chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Finally, my brother, and rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same thing to you is not tedious, but for you it's safe. Be aware of the dog, be aware of the evil worker, be aware of the uh, mutilation, uh, which insists uh, a circumcision. For we are the circumcision who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I also might have the confidence in the flesh, if I, anyone else thinks he may have a confidence in the flesh, I more so. Circumcised in the eight days of the stock of the Israel, of the tribe of the Benjamin, and the Hebrew of the Hebrews, and the concerning the law, Pharisee. Paul said, See, they are boasting in a flesh, and let him boast. I'm more. But it's nothing. Jewish people said that Paul, his ministry is terrible, they don't go well because he doesn't keep, right? But this Paul is saying, yes, you know, Paul is calling this Judaizer dogs, you know, watch out. First century, the big, big issue was Judaizer. Judaizer is not just teaching like uh, keep the law, but the uh, view was uh, if you keep the law, things go well. If we keep the law, then probably Roman Empire will be knocked out by God, you know. So that's why Jesus, when Jesus was sharing gospel, they killed Jesus because Jesus wasn't telling, you know, they can keep the law. Same thing with Paul too, though. That's so, like when we bring the gospel to Japan, okay, now we have our God, but if you believe Western God, the things go well? That was the idea. Oh, we don't need it, you know, because we have our own God. Own God. Gospel is not there. Let me explain a little bit another letter, uh, Corinth, Corinthian letter. Uh, please open that. Second Corinthian chapter 11, <coughs> verse 4. Let me explain a little bit. Uh, this letter, Corinthian letter, Corinth is a big port city in Greece, south part of uh, Athene. And uh, Athene, and uh, uh, they are very this world city, but the Paul started the church. Many people are saved and uh, established a good church called Corinth. And uh, verse 4. For if who comes preach another Jesus whom we have preached, or if you receive a different spirit which we haven't received, and a different gospel which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. It's a sarcastic, it's a it's an irony. Paul is saying you shouldn't have received it, you shouldn't have accepted it. But you such a gentle, kind people, you're receiving everything, you know. And a five to seven. For I consider that I am not all in failure to the uh, most eminent apostle, even though I'm untrained in speech. Yet I'm not in knowledge, but we have been truthfully manifested among you in all things, 
did I commit sin in humbling myself that you might be exalted because I plead the gospel of the God to you free of church. He didn't ask you money and I, I, I preached it. Then you guys call I'm a sinner, whatever, you know. And let me explain a little bit uh, the background of this letter. Paul established this church and he left. After he left, the Judaizer came, you know, you should keep the Sabbath, you should keep the Lord, and, you know, circumcision, you know, things that not go, you keep it, things go well. That kind of teaching came in. Then some said, wow, you know, oh, I should follow it. No, 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 we should follow Apollos. Oh, I should follow Peter. No, 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 we should follow Jesus. There was a the division. Of course, there are many, many, many problems. Or the tons of the problem in the calling, the, they are baby Christian. So like the house of Chloe came to Paul, and Pastor Paul, your church getting strange. So Paul played hard, and he wrote a letter, and sent, and sent Timothy with letter, brought letter to the calling. And Timothy came back. They didn't receive, you know, like a Paul teaching well, and they are answering back. Imagine if uh, like a, uh, uh, you establish one church and uh, you left and say hello and return. Oh, we don't need you. You know, we have a new teacher. You know, then having a different strength teaching. Of course, you grieve. Not because you feel you fail, but because you love them. You love them, right? So he cried and he prayed hard and he wrote letter. In between first. Corinthians, second Corinthians, there was a one more letter called Letter of the Tear. You know, he asked uh, Titus to bring that letter to, to Corinth. And he waited and prayed, I hope, you know. Even in between, uh, some scholars said he went to Corinth in a short period uh, by ship and back to Ephesus, though, uh, because in the second letter said he, it's going to be third visit, so probably. Then he was waiting how the, uh, uh, the Titus, you know, can bring this back, the result of the, this letter. But the Titus didn't come home. Uh, he was uh, traveling on a uh, Turkey Peninsula, the tip of the Turkey, Turkey Peninsula called uh, Troas. And uh, his ministry was very successful, but he was already uneasy. How come Titus is not on time? Maybe he is having trouble. Maybe, maybe people didn't depend or didn't receive my letter. You know, so he crossed the ocean, went to Yolo, Greek, you know, Macedonia, right? Then uh, Second Corinthians chapter two, uh, verse thirteen and fifteen. He got the good news. He got the good news. Pastor Paul, don't worry. 80 or 90% of the people are receiving your, yeah, not only receiving, they still respect and they still want you, you know. Wow, only few Judaizer, you know, those people against you. They are voiced loud, but they are few. <coughs> Excuse me. So he was very happy in the verse 13. I had no rest in my spirit because I did not find the Titus my brethren, but taking my leave of the, them, I depart for Macedonia. Now, thanks to be, to be to God, who always lead us in triumph in Christ, so, and through us uh, diffuse the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. He said, Phew! you know. The, so second, the uh, letter is very, Excited letter. When we study, like a, the the order is a little mixed, and he was not like a first letter. First letter, the pray hard, and carefully he wrote many issues. But the second letter is boom, 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 boom. So excited, and uh, he, when you next time when you read the second letter, he's very strong to the those Judaizer. Next time when I go there, you watch over. You know, I'm maybe weak in the letter, but when. I go there, you will see God is strong, you know, that kind. And he is very confident. Oh, God, you did it. That is the second letter. And uh, chapter 11 of the 
Second Corinthians, verse 17 and 18. What I speak, I speak not according. Sorry, I should wait a little bit. Second Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 17. What I speak, I speak not according to the Lord, but as if it were foolishly in this confidence of the boasting, uh, seeing that many boast according to the flesh, I also will boast. Let me boast a little bit with my flesh. And he's saying, verse 22, as a Hebrew, so I am. As a Israeli, so I am. As a uh, seed of Abraham, so I am. As they are minister of the Christ, I speak as a fool. I am more in labor, more abundant in stripe above, major in prison, more uh, frequently in death often. From the Jew, five times I received a 40 stripe minus one, and three times I was beaten with Lord. Once I was stoned, three times I was uh, shipwrecked, and the night and the day, and I have been in deep. In journey often, I peril of the water, in peril of the robbers, in peril of the, my own countrymen, Jew, and in peril of the Gentile, in peril of the city, peril of the wilderness, peril of the sea, peril of the, uh, among the false brethren, in weariness and uh, toil and uh, sleeplessness, often in hunger and uh, thirst, in fasting, often in cold and uh, nakedness. Besides the uh, other thing that comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all churches, he'd say, yes, things don't go well, yeah. See, I have all the trouble, but He's saying, uh, chapter 12, verse 4, let him boast, this kind of person who went to paradise. And he's actually saying by himself, for himself, <coughs> of, of himself. Verse 4 of the chapter 12. How he was caught up into paradise and hard in, expect, in expressive a word which is not lawful for men to utter. Of such a one, I will boast. He maybe he's saying uh, he's from experience, but yet of myself, I will not boast except in my infirmities, weakness. Verse seven. And least I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation and the throne in flesh was given to me, a messenger of the Satan to buffer me, lest I be exalted above measure. Uh, many scholars said it might be a sickness of the heart, his eye, but we don't know. But he said three times. Three times mean one, two, three. No. In Hebrew, God, people, three times mean a lot, hard. He pray hard. You know, he's a healer, but he wasn't able to heal his sickness. And uh, verse 8, concerning the, this thing that I preached the Lord three times, that I, I might be <coughs> depart from me, nine. And he said to me, my grace is suffic sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of the Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10, therefore, I take pleasure in the infirmity, in the reproach, in need, in persecution, in distress, for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then I'm a strong. Things doesn't go well, but God is at work. When I went to Japan, I listened to Chuck a lot, and I kind of copy so that uh, you know I wasn't really confident if I'm really a Calvary pastor or not. So first, you know, I study what Chuck teaches. 
But a lot of applications different. One of the, them was idol, because we like uh, have ancestor worship. Like uh, when I visit my father's house, like uh, we have ancestor box. It's like a tomb, but uh, it's grave, but it's more like a uh, portable box so that you can, you can kind of honor or worship your ancestor. And when we visit, usually we bring gift, omiyage, to, 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 to my dad. And my wife buys something she wants to eat, like a donut or some goodie, right? She, because she wants to eat. But then my dad said, thank you, and he put that to the ancestor box. But then we put it down, and we feel, ooh, you know, it's I put idol. Should we eat that donut, or maybe we shouldn't give that donut to my children? You know, we have a problem. But when you read that letter of the uh, First Corinthians, Paul said, No, 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 don't worry, you eat it. You know, you eat it. But at the same time, at the same time, chapter ten said, But watch out, you are worshiping evil. Huh? What does that mean? We don't know. People come, really ask uh, Pastor Santo, can we eat a donut you know, when we put on the, the box? And, uh, uh, is that uh, bad for Christian? Good? You know? That kind of issue. And, but when you read the Bible carefully, or know the little bit of background of the letter, you understand, makes sense. Let me say, in Corinth, in a year, two times in a year, they have a big uh, uh, ship or a storage workers meeting. And in that, in that meeting, they will uh, put the beef uh, and the worship to the idol, and they get a beef from the idol, and they share the big festa. That time, they will distribute you know, work, the organization or work union, or share. OK, uh, Tim, you take care of this cargo, and this, this, this storage, that's yours. OK, Santo, you do this. you know, Peter, you do that. Then, if you don't go there, you cannot get the job. For your, you have a 10 worker, 20 worker, they have a family life. So you become a Christian. Oh, I become a Christian. I cannot go there because they feel us, those idol, you know, we, we don't want to, right? So they wrote a letter to Paul. Paul said, don't worry, they no idol. It's just a man-made, nothing, don't worry. See, he said, don't worry. So I go there. Now Paul said, but you are worshiping evil spirit. What does it mean? What does it mean? Actually, you can go there. No need to eat. Oh, I'm Christian. I don't eat that. You could say, no, 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 no. If I said that, I cannot get job for my worker. Maybe I should just keep my mouth shut and just eat it. Because Paul said nothing. But Paul said, is that really true? Is that God is smaller than your union? Is that true? If you don't go there, you think you cannot get the job? Same thing. When we attend a funeral in Japan, we have a kind of incense. And we put like a three time on a head or one time. You know, there was some kind of rule. And uh, uh, even though we Christian, I was working for my company. And the company deal with some other company. A boss or some worker died. We visit the funeral, right? We are forced to do it. But I don't do it. I can't attend. I can pray, I can w pray the Lord, you know, without doing that. You know, what are you afraid of? Because we're afraid. If I don't do that, I may lose job, or people think I'm strange, or, you know, may, they may hate a Christian, or fear, you know. Then things don't go well. Same issue we are carrying. And uh, finally, uh, let me tell you one more story. Everybody has a measuring lot. Not just measure the size, but measuring something with your measurement. How we can make things better. Some Christians come in the church, but still they come to church. If I worship, if I read the Bible, if I uh, maybe serve or tithe or you know, go mission trip, or probably you know, things will go better. <coughs> we have a festival called Star Festival. There is a bamboo tree. And we put a little tab. It's a wishes. Not we mean uh, Japanese regular people. 
they put the wishes, you know, like, uh, okay, healthy, or my son go better school, or, you know. Then we hang it, and then we put it in the river, and, uh, you know, then we wish it. It's called Star Festival came to China. Just like a tag, every Wednesday we have a Bible study and a prayer meeting. We share, we, we correct all the prayer, oh, okay, uh, her, her husband goes, uh, like in the business for one year apart from the family play for him you know like a, uh, her daughter is sick and pray for her always you know it, of course we pray right but always so that things go better sometimes we forget God in the work though even though you are praying but uh, you, you, you just pray you all will be done from your sight only sometimes we become idol worshiper we have in a prayer is not just saying we should receive the view or sight God is at work and uh, I God said I will take care of your life your life work so you guys in a trial love each other forgive each other Stay away from sin and confess your sin. And uh, stay holiness. I will take care of your life. Even though you may be in the dark right now, like a Paul, like a Joseph, you know. But he is at work. Uh, Philippians chapter 2. I like this Philippians chapter 2, 3 to 5, maybe 68. Call, I call this section Jesus style. Jesus came on the earth. But things didn't go well, though. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowness of mind, let each esteem other better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for interest of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it lovely to be equal with God, but made himself of the no reputation, taking from form of the born servant and coming in the likeness of a man. And uh, being found in uh, appearance as a man, he humbled himself and uh, became obedient to the point of death, even the uh, death of the cross. Imagine God became man, me. God can be anywhere at once. In Japan, China, Africa, South Africa, in the state, everywhere God is, can, can be there. Not only location, the year, 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, 500 years ago, now God can be there. But that God can be one person, me. He only can be in one location, in a one time range, you know? When he gets hungry, he gets tired, probably he gets, uh, you know, maybe irritable or temptation, same. And not only that, you know, he can do miracle. He can get thousand angels at once and put a fire from the heaven, but he just obey the God. When in the Gethsemane, he prayed, oh, take this cup away from me, you know, hanging on the cross. But this is the, what I have to take. You are will be down. That is our prayer. That is our prayer. Many times, God put me in a corner I have to pray, oh Lord, I, I want this, but you are will be done. Some of you in this morning, maybe in a corner on that moment. I encourage you, this is not just a coincidence, me I'm speaking this. Pray. Lord, I don't know why this thing happening in my life, but you are will be done. God is a word. This life on the earth is just a traveler. It's not an end yet. We have next next stage, and we'll see, oh, that's why this was happening. 
We don't know, yeah? But you will see. When we put our scenario of our life on the cross, then God resurrect new scenario of God. Before, God was a God for my life. Help me, God. And we put that on the cross. Then the new, my life is for God. So some people think, why Pastor Tim, some elder, they are so fire heart for the Lord. I don't know. Because your God is for your life. Our life is not center of the God scenario. God scenario is the center in God. That's why we give ourselves to the God. Then in his scenario, we'll find ourselves. If you are in orchestra playing some musical instrument, you're not the person, see, I can play this much. No, God is orchestrating. When God says stop, I have to stop. But when God says go, we have to go. Philippians finally, chapter 4, verse 6, 7, 8. I like this verse. Be, oh, sorry. I forgot to drink water twice. Mm -hmm. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Then things will go better. No, it doesn't say so. <laughs> and the peace of God, which suppress all and understanding, uh, will guard your heart and uh, guard your mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are Nobles, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and uh, if there is anything uh, great worthy, meditate, meditate on these things. In verse 11, not that I speak in a regard to need, for I have learned in a whatever state I am to be content. Twelve, I know how to be based. I know how to be abandoned. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full, to be hungry, both to be abandoned, and to be suffering need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And at 18, he said, indeed, I have all abandoned, I'm a fool, having received from Epaphrodite the things sent from you, sweet smelling aroma, accepting sacrifice. Well, free God, even 19 said, and my God shall supply all your need according to his rich in glory by Christ Jesus. Conclusion, when we think how I can solve this problem every day, then once problem is solved, the next problem comes. Like when I was young, I was uh, driving a motorcycle. I'm, I'm uh, driving a small motorcycle, and we need, a, in Japan, a license for the big motorcycle. You have to take a test, we call a bridge. It, uh, a certain, you know, we call 30 centimeter wide and uh, 15 meter long, like a bridge. You had to drive on that uh, uh, bridge without uh, shaking, you know. That was one of the tests. And one <coughs> guy told me, Santo, it's easy. I would teach you how to drive on a bridge. You know? Don't look on a bridge. Just look on the signboard from there, laundry company. That you just look at and uh, you just uh, don't sit deep, but just stand a little bit, you know, look at that, and you just go, you know, straight. Just like that, when you see the problem come, problem come, just problem see, oh Lord help me with this problem, help me. your life is very shaky. But your goal is not on yours, your goal in heaven. And you, some people think, 
Heaven is like an angel, you know, fly. No, I believe heaven is like this, you know, on the earth and the nature, like I think Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know if there is an ocean or because, you know, I don't know, but God made, right, on earth, right? Heaven must be real. It's real. And a thousand year worship, I thought, it, I don't want to worship thousand years, I get tired. No. <laughs> Timeless. They no time. You, no more limit. Out of the time we live, you know, we can't understand, but we believe. That's a goal. So you look that goal, and you drive. You don't look the problem, problem. He will take a problem. So you love each other. You help each other. You forgive each other. Someone who not forgiven someone, just pray and ask. He's forgiven. Ask the person forgiveness. Even though that person won't forgive, that's his problem. If you are struggling with some sin, you know, oh, I cannot quit. Uh, pray. God is the one when you confess your sin. God is the one who put you out of trust. He will give you the power. Oh, I did, Pastor Santo, a couple of times. Do it again. He will do it. He will do it. So don't stay in the same sin. Six months before, three months before. Pray. He will do it. It's, that is our job. Not make things better. When Jonah was called by God to go to Nineveh, he didn't want to go. Oh, I don't want that. I hate that. Nineveh is an enemy, you know. Terrible. They should perish, you know. God should punish them, right? So a prophet didn't want to go. But uh, by the book of Jonah, you know, right? He was thrown in the ocean, right? Was swallowed by big fish, right? But you think big fish was like a Pinocchio, big fish, right? No, 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 I don't think so. It was a little smaller fish because he was so tight, you know, he couldn't move, you know. Then some uh, uh, seaweed come, and rock come, and a pain, and a dark, and a, he, he, he already dizzy, you know, because up and down, up and down, right? And stuck, oh, it's a hell, help me, help me, was the chapter two of the uh, book of Jonah, right? He said, it's hell. Stuck. It's not moving at all in the darkness. But if during that time, that fish driving 300 kilometers to Nineveh. The goal. God is at work. Some people in this morning feel uh, you are stuck in the darkness and the things are not moving. Hey, don't worry to myself. <laughs> things are at work. God is at work. God is telling us, so you love each other, you help each other, you forgive each other, confess your sin, and stay holiness. 